So the final quarter about to get underway here at HA over Broad Beach. It's only two points in it. Redlands trailed by 10 points at the main break. They lead it by two points now. Heading to the final turn, 56 to uh, 54. And play about to get underway for this final turn. And the last time these two teams met here at Broad Beach ended up being a draw. And it's certainly on the cards at this stage. Umpire holds the ball off. Andrew Brown and Jared Field in commentary for you here on Me For Live TV. And we've got the close one this afternoon. All important game. Board Beach looking to climb the ladder. Looking for their first game, first win at home this season, in fact. All important centre clearance. They get a good start. They get a free kick out of the centre. It's going to the danger man there in Shreve. Out wide to panic. The ball with the flight, with the breeze over his head. And over the boundary line. Throw in to take place between wing and uh, forward. As I said, Jared Field also along for side men commentary. Rua and Reynolds to do battle here. Centre wing. Reynolds in front probably gets the hit. Walton, handball by Panic. Thompson punches back. Josh Searle, there's going to be another ball up here, but Searle uh, on the bottom of the pack there. Good tackle by the young fella there in Jack Williams. Throws it up. Brewer taps it in board. Handball comes out. This is Boone. Great tackle there by Shreve. He's been very good today, Shreve. He'll look to get it. Inside the attacking zone for Broadbridge. He goes with a short pass. Emery's on here and he's got it, the big fella. Well, there's a big change from uh, Matt Angus at yes. uh, three quarter time to move Emery up forward. Templeton's gone back to Pullman and Emery gone to the key forward post. Will have his first shot on goal. What's he like? What's his form? Yeah, he's a chance here, Kieran, I reckon. He needs to start at uh, well outside left goal post, though. Does so. Ball coming back. Going to be a contest in the goal square and punch through by Redlands and it's uh, one behind. Makes it one point the difference in favour of Redlands. 8 8 56, lead Broad Beach 8 7 55. So Zufa to bring the ball back in for Redlands. Of course, 4 and 4 and the umpire 50. Pinging uh, Broad Beach here for getting too close to the mark. Must admit the game has been played a pretty good spirit between uh, these two teams, uh, Jared. Absolutely, absolutely. It's been a, a good game of footy to watch, and uh, considering the conditions, we're pretty happy with that. Zufa goes short. Found Tyler it's Jones. Jones, there. The, the first goal kicker. Jones goes to the far side, kicks it out there, looking for Thompson. Thompson and Panic, one-on-one -on -one duel. Ball comes down, handball fed up to Geary. Not a great handball there, but he backs up. Tries to get it through to Searle. Searle tackled very well. Geary again. Hits it out in front of the pass of Walton. Walton's going to be run down. He quickly gets a kick forward though. Redland defenders playing in front. Scott lays a tackle. Here's Burton bursting onto the footy at 50. Goes for home Burton. It's drifting right. Bounces in. Zufa takes the easy, uh, easy takeaway and brings it outside 50. And finds a target too. Good. Work there by Zufa, as you would expect this experience. Dangerous kick though, in front, showing a lot of strength there was Wells in front of Pringle. And uh, he likes to go short and finds that player Shreve, who's been on this uh, broadcast swing all afternoon here. Well, sunny conditions earlier, just clouding over a bit here. The wind seemingly has dropped a little bit. Good kick. And Broad Beach trying to buck the trend and Score some few goals, kicking into the breeze here in this final turn. Big kick there by Hancock. Now a chance for Emery, could he receive the handball? No, just missed. Zufa once again, just oh, hacks still. the ball out of the boot. Pringle taking for take two. Wells right in his hammer once again. Picked up by Fife. The skipper showing courage, breaks through the tackle. And finally the mark there is Scott. Immediately plays on. Kicks the right forward pocket. Players setting themselves. One of the players there was quick. The ball beats him. Well, eventually knocked out of his hand over the boundary line. Still good attacking area for Broad Beach, only 20 metres around from their goal. One point game, four minutes gone, final term. Clark tries to hit it back into the corridor, comes to Hancock, sticks it on the left foot. It's going to land in the goal square. Up they go, ball comes down, no one can gain clean possession. Redlands, good defensive handball out of there and they clear. Comes out, this is Tyler Jones, still inside defensive 50, looking inboard. Probably needs to go down the line here. Just a short, risky, but it's come off. And this is Chris Thompson. Thompson 
Outside defensive 50 to the far side. Salter, one on three. Fife gathers, kicks it back towards 50. Quick's going to set himself here. Can't take the mark. Comes off the back to Shrew. Handball out. Hancock hits it up to Pandic. They've got the numbers here. Pandic puts his head down, gets brilliantly wrapped up there by Damien Stephen. And he's paid the throw. Good tackle from Stephen. So Damien Stephen now take the free kick, ten and a half back. And uh, Brewer, the ruckman, is uh, standing back in the centre. So they want to try and avoid him at the moment, Redlands. And a good mark at the back of the pack there. Taken and they're away now, coming through the centre of the ground. And the lead, oh, beautifully presented there was Pullman. Now he's got Gartner one-on-one -on -one here. Will the height pay out? Good work there from Stewart. Stewart got to the front and the ball rushed through for a behind. Gartner just throws his hands out wide, not quite sure. Quick kick in though. Finding Brewer. Back Brewer at the top there to Shreve. Ridden to the ground up high, caught by on. Brewer just lumbers after it. Tackled by Good Pullman. Jack. Back for Shreve. Trying to fend the tackle. Illegally said the umpire. We're going to see some fireworks in this final term. And Stephen, he said he didn't like the, uh, that sort of treatment. And uh, the free kick here going to Scott Miller. Two point game now after that behind two Redlands. 57 55. Grew goes up on the mark. Good ball from behind though by Templeton. the player in Templeton. Sees the ball out of bounds. Trying to take place for Redlands on their half forward flank. And coming up to the six minute mark of the final term. Brewer to do battle here with Gartner, I think, in the ruck. Pullman isolated in the goal square. Brewer wins the hit. Comes over the top. Panic runs onto it with Cass. Panic and Cass still. Cass goes after it again. Well done from Phil Cass. The former captain kicks it back. But Stewart takes a relieving mark on defensive halfback for Broadbridge. He's looking in board. That's where he goes. Nick Scott's on and takes the mark. He's going to switch it again. He goes to the far wing. It's Burton in front of his opponent and Burton takes a good mark. Not paid, says the umpire. Ball down, Fife. Can't get it out. Good tackle there from Broadbridge. Locks up the Redland player. We're going to have a bounce down. Still no goals so far in this final term. Approaching the seven minute mark. And uh, makes that all important first goal. Absolutely vital. Just to see if Redlands get it. But Broadbridge trying to stop that. Geary now on the outer side. Goes out. Oh, great pick up by Quick. Low to the ground. As Walton now. It's just coming on the ground. His credit's from space. If they get the ball over to him. But Zufa, good defensive work. Ahead of Emery on that occasion and takes the mark. Cast presents himself at centre half back. That lead's ignored. So a kick from Zufa back to a contest. Salter doing well. Kick the ball further afield now on that outer wing. Pullman leads his Templeton in the race to the ball. Got the handball back to a skipper and Salter. And over the top there is uh, a player in semi Godfrey. Now his high kick. Pullman's at the gardeners at the back. Ball bounces for Pringle. Can he escape the tackle? Well done by Broadbeach. I'll reward the free kick here. And the free kick should go here Searle. to Josh Searle. Searle, inside defensive 50. Chips it sideways. That looks like Greeley. He goes up the line to Big Brewer, and Brewer does the right thing, takes the mark. Walton Walton's on, on here on the wing. He gets it over the top. Holds the footy now, Walton, just controlling it. Doesn't want to turn it over. He's going to chip it out wide. Looking for Hancock, who's presented, and Hancock marks. Centre wing, far side of the ground. He wheels around onto the right, kicks it down inside 50. Looking for Emery and Clark. Clark drops what he should have taken. Cleared now by Redlands, it's Zufa. A big, long left foot kick to nobody in particular, and Templeton marks in the mud patch in the centre of the ground. Yeah, it's a good mark too by number 32. He looks to go wide. Comes out to the defensive side of the ground looking for Clark and Clark drops the mark. Looks Comes tight. down, casts, out of bounds of thought, will be now. So looking tired there, uh, Josh Clark, didn't he? Had a couple of chances for a big mark and fan of warning on both occasions. A bit of ground. He's in the ruck now. Brewer just drifting down to the goal square behind play over there. So Clark in the ruck. Got the ball down there, only as far as Cast. So good row. Got a good tackle though, forces the error over to Wilson. Wilson now kicks the ball towards space and Nick Stop. Scott takes the mark. As the wind just picks up here at Broadbeach, affected his kick. Looking there for Emery out wide. Zufa's on his hammer. Can he elude him? Zufa hanging on to him for dear life. Got the ball back here to Scott. Kick comes in. Brewer's in the front position. Spore behind again by the Bobbers defence. Walt picks the ball up. He's got time to snap shot at goal. Close to the goals and bounces through. And the Cats are in front. 
First goal of the final term has taken nine and a half minutes, but it's the important one. It goes to the home team, Broadbeach. They're back in front by four points, 9-7-61. Redlands are 8-9-57, and Walton brings up his second goal of the afternoon. Great finish there from Rory Walton. They just uh, forced the ball forward, and he got on the end of it. Well done, Brewer. Brewer looks like he's coming off now, and Burton. So they're ringing the changes here, Broadbeach. Possibly with an advantage of having an extra uh, extra fresh man. So Thompson comes on and Shreve comes back on. So uh, Thompson heading uh, heading forward, Shreve heading to this wing. Brewer off, Grilly on for Broadbeach. So Clark into the ruck. They've gone a bit smaller up there. Hancock, Emery still there. Centre bounce. It's Clark versus Michael. Clark wins the hit. Comes down. Panic wrapped up. Good tackle there from Redlands. Really still by himself here in the half forward flank. The quick change there made by uh, Matt Angus. Zufa still by himself though on uh, half back flank. Got him covered now. Quick kick out. Comes down. This is Wells on the left. Short chip to Sean Wilson. Centre wing. Out of sight of the ground. Kicks down the line. Looking for quick. Up he goes. Can't take the mark. Well done by Redlands, if oh, Crawford intercepted there, gets a handball over, panic. Will handball inside to Scott. Scott inside 50, can he hit a target? Emery in front, he's got it! Kieran Emery! This could be the match winning move by Matt Angus. He's moved Emery forward, he's taken his second mark in the last quarter and will shoot from 30 out directly in front to extend the lead to 10 points, Brownie. Yes, had uh, one shot at goal already, it was slightly off target. But uh, really, but a home ground knowledge shouldn't make any mistake from here. And doesn't. A low kick from Emery under the breeze and converts. Broadbeach out by 10. We're at 11 and a half gone here in the last quarter at HA Oval. And uh, good kick there from Nick Scott. Emery presented in front, did the right thing, marked and converted. It's hard to believe, Jared, that uh, we thought that would be the uh, the low scoring end, but after half time, there's been five goals to one overall at that uh, southern end of the ground. Yeah, well, the uh, the school end proving uh, uh, the scoring end today, which is uh, a bit unusual, but uh, Bruce, not as strong as it was in the first half, Brownie, but still uh, predominantly coming straight across the ground to this commentary side. So, two goals in two minutes, the home team have got them back out to that half time margin of a 10 point lead. What can the Bombers do in response? Are they starting to feel the effects of uh, one less player with Sam Pullman off the ground for half time with a calf injury? But here's uh, Josh Pullman now. Screws the ball back here for his skipper. I love a goal from the skipper here. Salter steadies himself. Good no, handball. good hands over the top. Bit of Pringle runs the open goal, blows away, and response from Pringle. And he goes down after kicking the ball. So we'll see what the umpire wants to do here. But the important thing is. Could be another kick The here. Bombers are back within four points, and Pringle gets his... Bit happening here. His second goal of the afternoon, both after half-time. And this game He's certainly lining up. Broad here. Broadbeach reports home. Might have another shot at goal here, Redlands, to go back in front. Stewart's made contact with Pringle after he's kicked the footy, or pretty much as he's kicked the footy. And the goal's gone through, but Stewart has been reported. So we'll see what unfolds here. If there's another kick, this could be uh, critical in this uh, this stage of the game. And uh, obviously the uh, treatment there undergoing for Zane Brinkle, who has been uh, lively for them this afternoon. Uh, on that fourth line, when he gets the opportunities to kick now two goals after half time, kicking a goal in the third uh, quarter. Ball's as well. coming back to the centre, mate. Okay, so the ball's coming back to the centre. So it remains a four point lead to Broadbeach. 13 and a half minutes now played in the final term. 10 7 67 and Redlands 9 9 63. Really hasn't been much between these two sides at all throughout the day. I think I mentioned before the biggest lead of the game was the Cats by 12 points. And Redlands have been able to haul that in. They got their nose in front. And good to see that Pringle is back up on his feet, but uh, will be leaving the ground and I think the umpires will wait until he has left the ground here. So uh, last quarter might tick over for a, uh, a little while yet. The second quarter went just on 30 minutes, the longest quarter of the uh, match so far. Just waiting for Pringle to get off the ground here. He's just breaking into a jog, so that's a good sign well, for him. I don't him. want to lose another, another player. No, absolutely not. Broadbeach still appear to be uh, full strength at the moment. Nick Scott ready to come back onto the ground. So uh, Pringle 
Looks to be uh, feeling a little bit better. He's holding his chest after that knock. So a four-point game, and his replacement came on the ground. Tom Michael immediately goes to the forward line to join Gartner and Pullman down there. Reynolds and Brewer do the ruck. Who can get the all-important clearance? And after one way, then the next, a free kick goes to the Cats. Ryan Panic with the free kick. Centre wicket area, Broadbridge. Kicks out wide to Brewer, who is unattended. Big Brewer. Kicks a low worm burner inside 50. Not a great kick. Howard Thompson by hand. Gets it out now and will get it back. This is Thompson. Gives it off to Zufa. Zufa the kick around a corner. Straight to Fife though. Fife looks in board. Doesn't go there. Now a chip kick in. And this is Greeley. Greeley with the footy. Centre wing. Members side of the ground here. Play on calls to the umpire. He's going to go long. He's going to go up to the line to Kieran Emery. Emery sets himself with Hancock. Balls come down the front. Emery gets it again. He's wrapped up. Probably have a ball up here, says the umpire. It's tied. It's four points in favour of Broadbridge. Still plenty of time left in this uh, final turn. And the home crowd on tender hooks, as I said a couple of times. They played three times at home this season without a victory. The Cats, I dearly love one here. And close the uh, margin on Redland to a... Two, place, two places higher than on the ladder. Close to the boundary line once again. Players dive on top of it. Crowd wants a free kick. The umpire's just going to come in and throw the ball up once again. But it's the right end of the ground as far as Broadbeach are concerned. Brewer to do battle against Reynolds. Up they go. Brewer gets the hit. Back into the corridor. Reynolds picks it up though. Comes down. He's Brewer. Wrapped up by Scott and Pantic. Scott with the footy now. Wrapped up by Grewer, not going anywhere here. We'll have another ball. Oh, he's pinged him. He's pinged him, dropping the ball. Or holding the ball, if you like. And this is Zufa with the footy. Half back for Redlands. He's going to go long. He's signaling. We've got Gartner and Pullman in this pack. Templeton in front. Pullman. Walton gets tackled. Ducks the head. No free kick, as there shouldn't have been. And we'll have a ball up. Centre wing. So desperation here required from both players, as you would, both teams as you would expect. Brewer goes up, got the tap down, as has most of the afternoon. The players just dive on top of it. The umpire once again can't find anything in that, and will uh, throw the ball up here on the uh, members' wing here at Broad Beach. Now Claddagher just Brewer just sorts that out, just thumps the ball forward, gained about 30 metres, but there'll still be a, a stoppage. The ball has gone out of bounds. Restructured here a bit, Redlands. Gartner and Pullman both playing a bit higher now and uh, give them a tall option just forward of the footy. So uh, Mackenzie and Burton on for Broadbridge. Brewer in the ruck. Big hit over the top there from Reynolds. Wrapped up. Good tackle. Car. Shreve comes out with the ball. Kicks inside 50 and Scott marks. Nick Scott. Not looking like he wants to dish this off. He's going to take the responsibility and have a shot for goal. See if he can extend this lead back out to 10 points for Broadbeach. Just as the breeze picks up, Brewer goes down there just in case the ball falls short. So that's good work there by the Ruckman. Absolutely. Nick Scott walks in. He's going to kick from about 40. Ball on its way. It looks all right. It's a goal. Oh, great, great kick catch. from Nick Scott. Great kick. That's his second, Nick Scott. And Broadbeach back out to 10 points. So, uh... Seesawing last quarter here, but Broadbeach, they haven't uh, haven't coughed up the lead for a while now, Brownie. Yes, absolutely. And uh, how telling will, what will be that goal? We'll soon find out. They move on to 11 goals, 773. Back out to that 10-point margin. With that goal, Scott becomes the third multiple goal kicker for the home team, joining Walton and Burton also on uh, two goals, as well as Nathan Quick, of course. So four cats have had two goals apiece. And still leading goal kicker for the Bombers, Gartner with four and two goals to Zane Pringle, who uh, is he back out on the ground after he that is. knock? He, he is, yes, so he's he recovered is. well, he's the youngster. Forward. Good to see. Line up at centre half forward there, across the half forward line with Brewer. The ball back in the centre. Now Bombers desperately need a goal. All important clearance though by the Cats, only as far as Howard though for Redlands. It's the ball out wide. Good defensive work in front there by Stewart. Stewart. Who's done well on Gartner, mm, yep. conceding a few centimetres. The ball goes out wide, out towards the outer wing. And players wrapped up in a tackle, and the umpire will throw the ball up. Just gone past 19 minutes, and Broadbeach with uh, three, three goals to uh, one. 
in this final term. Have their noses in front. That's now down, down the bombers half forward line though. As Boone is wrapped up in a tackle. And the umpires hit it too high. You can tell the reaction from the home crowd. They're not too happy. So Adam Boone, the number 45, will uh, go back. He's going to have a set shot for goal. What do you think of his chances here, Jared? Well, he's uh, he's on the right side of the ground for it. Probably needs to start it outside right post, but uh, distance shouldn't be an issue, Brownie. So it's yeah, Boone. Boone, perhaps a booming kick to get that margin back within four points once again. Oh, he's missed it. everything. Right across the face of goal, out of bounds from the full. Disappointing kick, so no further score added. As we've gone now past the 20 minute mark of the final quarter. And Broadbeach in front by 10 points. 73 play 63. And Stewart to bring it back into play for Broadbeach. Looking up the line. Oh, he's going across goal now. He's played on. He has a bounce. He's in the defensive goal square. Pressure coming here from Gartner. Stewart kicks long, looking for Templeton, and will find him. And he's a good kick in the end. Templeton marks half back. Handball inside. This is Wells. Handball misses the target. Templeton backs up, though. Gets a handball in board to Fife. Fife kicks it out wide towards his wing. Shreve sets himself. Up he goes. Can't take it. Ryan Panic takes the ball off hands. Burton. Gets it, this is Greeley. Good handball, Shreve out. Kicks long, one-on-one, -on -one quick and Zufa. Quick marks and holds it up. Emery, now Emery got the goal side yeah. of his opponent, so is Geary. Emery hits up at the footy now and quick does the right thing and gets it to him. He's on 50, Emery. Kicks it in short, looking for Geary. Over the top, there's an open goal here for Greeley. If he can pick it up, he can't. He's got the footy wrapped up by Zufa in a ripping tackle. And we'll have a ball up at the top of the goal square for Broadbeach. I think his eyes lit up there oh, when he yeah. saw the bacon goal square Absolutely. in front of him. He just fumbled at the wrong, start, wrong stage. So still a chance here. Hancock. Hancock out of the pack has put it through. That could be the sealer. Poor defensive work there from the Bombers. Coaching staff won't be too happy with that. And now the Cats go out to the biggest lead of the game, 16 points. Come to the 22-minute mark of the final term, 12-7-79. And Redlands, 9-9-63. Is it enough, Jared? Well, it might be. Uh, Josh Clark was hanging out here. I think Reynolds, the Ruckman, didn't get to that contest, which left Hancock to go in the ruck against his direct opponent. Had no opponent, grabbed the footy and kicked the easy goal to put Broadway 16 points in front. And that could be all she wrote, Brownie. And I just wonder if that uh, midfield grade of Redlands, which have uh, tried so hard, uh, throughout the day, maybe it's just taking its toll and the smaller brigade of the Cats is getting on top. Getting yeah. that ball moving quickly down to the forward line. And uh, move to Emery up forward too has been uh, a yeah, handy one. Absolutely. Clark down. This is Godfrey. He gets a kick out. Half back Wilson after it. Pullman. 37 is Tyler Jones. Can't get an effective disposal. Sultan knocks it back to Jones though. Jones kicks inside 50. They need a goal here, Redlands. Stewart. Gartner's got the footy. Picks it up, knocked out of his hands, Broad Beach numbers, and it goes out of bounds. Good result there for the Cats. Well, we've had the three wins this year, Broad Beach. So one of them a terrific win, of course, against the NT Thunder. Absolutely. Open Upset. like a house on fire in Darwin. It's uh, a good win, but uh, no, to get they're the ball. looking like they're going to get their fourth here, I'd say. Nick Scott, now the clearing kick out wide, close to the boundary line. Zufa comes in though, tackled at the last minute, got the ball back here to Reynolds, over the top there to Solder, tackled high, was he? The umpire, no call, play on, he's held up, he's going to be ping. And Callan Geary, one of that uh, midfield grade we're talking about, takes the free kick there, and we're happy to slow things now down for the Cats. 23 and a half minutes gone, final quarter here at uh, h and Oval, Broad Beach on the Gold Coast, and the home team. Looking for their first win at home this season, lead it by 16 points. 79 to 63. Content to work the ball now and present themselves on that outer wing. Nick Scott. The number 23. Kicked two terrific goals to that southern end into the breeze. Won the second term and of course one here in the final quarter. Emery held up there and happy to see the ball over the line on that uh, outer half forward flank. And it's the wrong end as far as Redland are concerned. And there'll be a boundary throw in. And we'll have Josh Clark in the ruck doing battle down there with Reynolds. Comes over the back. Reynolds gets a free hit at it, bashes it forward, but it's all Broadbeach behind the footy. Handball, not real clean out the back. This is quick. 
and Godfrey. Quick's got the footy. Wrapped up, footy held in there. It's all right, Broadbeats don't mind the extra stoppages. Redlands, they need to get it out into space, Brownie. Yeah, they do, and uh, heard the cries from the uh, Broadbeats coach, Matt Angus, just wants the contest to be killed at the moment. Soak up as much time as possible. Redlands, though, do come away from that uh, stoppage. Uh, what can uh, Broadbeach here do to defend? Uh, they pop it up here. Cast now comes in. Runs inside 50. Backs oh. himself. Has a shot at goal. Puts it through. Keeps the Bombers alive. Good finish there from Cast. He's cramping up a bit, but uh, nearly 25 minutes gone. It pulled it back to 10 points. Parky! Probably the next centre clearance is critical, Brownie, I would have thought. I would, I, if Cast is fit, he needs to inject himself into this centre bounce because they've just got to get it forward here, Redlands, if they're to stay alive in this contest. Well, we're back to that same margin, uh, 10 points that was at half time. So uh, the game is seesawed, no doubt about it, in this second half. But uh, Redlands, they'll give themselves a chance, but uh, time may be against them. Maybe, maybe it's time for Brody to stick one just behind the free for the last five minutes here. Clark to do battle with Reynolds. Just man on man at the moment. Yeah, he's in there. Brewer, need to get their hands on it, Redlands. Clark, big hit, knocks it forward. Wilson, handball, panic trying to get it. Grewer off the ground, good wet weather footy. Bangs inside 50, Templeton needs to be clean. Picks it up, clearing kick out wide. Pringle and Wells. Wells, handball, Templeton, they got the extra numbers, Broadbeach. Greeley holds the footy, chip and hold. Josh! That Walton. looks like Walton, yep. down the uh, far side of the ground. Scott, up he goes. Hancock front and square. Handball forward. Here they go, the Cats. This is Ryan Panic inside 50. Kick out in front of Quick. Quick tries to get it to Killy. Killy on the left. Fires a goal. It's going across the bar. Handy bounce. Oh, rushed through by Redlands. That would have been the ball game as Clark comes off for Brewer. Redlands, all yours, Brownie. Yeah, thanks, Jared. Well called. It could have been the sealer. Then now Reynolds had a wicket from one end of the ground to the other. As uh, Reynolds, slow kick out there, beaten to the ball there was Cass by Greeley. Walton does a one two with Greeley on his inside with, was Wells. That lead ignored. Both players, sets of players now looking pretty tired after a grueling afternoon here at Broadbeach. And the Cats, the home team, are hanging on. And they thread the ball through. A chain of handballs ends up with. Uh, Geary and then uh, Panic, Panic now. Yeah, Geary out of the uh, fresh air. Hancock's in front and takes the mark. And over the top oh. of the handball played on, didn't need to, to soak up the time. Still up your chance here to quick, trying to get the ball back here to Hancock. And this extraordinary stuff there by the home team, close to their goals. Hancock goes in again. Plenty of uh, white and red jumpers are around the ball. Players sitting on top of it, including wow. What's uh, he thinking? Talon Never Geary. Him. And he should have been going back, have a set shot for goal there, Hancock, and played on. It sealed the game, but he's uh, gone for the handball. He goes up, hits it out, quick on the boot, it's a goal! And that's the game. Nathan Quick. All clear from the umpire. Hancock to Quick. Ices the game. It's his third Quick. He's had a pretty good day uh, playing as a third tall forward, and uh, that's all she wrote. Did it's, the same uh, thing in the second turn, didn't absolutely. he? Absolutely. Uh, out of a stoppage out down at yeah. the end of the ground. Got a little toe poke through for a goal. Been very second. effective from stoppages inside the front half, Broadbeach, but uh, helps when you're winning most of the hits, Brownie. Makes it a lot easier at the uh, at ground level. Yeah, they certainly would have a huge advantage for the stats go for hit outs this afternoon. Shreve back on. Uh, it is definitely the biggest lead of the game. 17 points. And the Cats. They've uh, really livened up this final turn after Redlands went into the final uh, final break with a two-point lead. But they haven't been able to maintain that in the final quarter. They've stood up to all the cats in this final quarter. Get another clearance again. And throw. hand of the ball. So McKenzie throws the ball back, back there to Matt Thompson. Oh. High up and under. Josh Pullman, no chance at all. Sport from behind. The tackle there was uh, from Stewart. Now might fall here to Gartner. Looted the tackle back to Pringle, recovered after that knock. High kick towards the top of the goal square. The ball bouncing through there from Pringle. Post, and post. it's hit the padding of the post. Through for a minor score. Margin back to 16 points. We've now gone over 29 minutes. Quarter might go for a little while. The line here, Templeton. After Pringle, of course, suffered a knock early in this quarter. And it's gone over the line, as you call it, Jared. So a ball will be thrown up right near to the goal square. 
Templeton. The Cardinals in from fullback. He's run over the line, so Redlands with a chance to uh, chance to answer here. Could Not sure the there's point. enough time, but uh, Stewart and Gartner in the ruck. Gartner tries to grab it out and kick it. Greeley does well. Handball out to Wells. Clearing kick is it's clearing. through it's the clear. side screen. It's, 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 it's over the, the fence. fence. That's yeah. it. Oh, yeah. But it's a, out of the danger zone temporarily. Pringle wheels inside. Oh, that's an instant replay. That's it on the full as well. Dare I say, so, uh, Pringle perhaps uh, could have looked for a tip kick. Ah, very good, Franny. Very good. Elected to go for the long bomb. It didn't pay no. off and uh, tired legs quickly after receiving that knock earlier this term. Needed to get it into the corridor, but uh, Broadbeach with the footy now. This is uh, Greeley. It's going to go long up the line in the Brewer direction. Bumped off the footy and Zufa floats across the back. He needs to move it quick. There's no time here for Redlands. He bangs it inside 50. Up go the big fellas, Pullman. A big grab from Josh Pullman. And he comes up with a bit of cramp as 20 well. 20 metres out directly in front. You don't want to take uh, too long here. No time on the clock. Needs to kick this. Geary comes off, Pullman wanders in. No mistake there. Back to 10 points. It's his second Pullman. We must have been going 30 plus minutes here. It's 31 minutes about to tick over on the clock. Sure, there's enough time for two scores, Brandy, you think? Yes, and it's once again back to that half time margin of 10 points. So 11 10 76. The Bombers and Broad Beach out in front 13 8 86. So uh, 21 scoring shots apiece. So it's a little margin of accuracy. Put the kicking into the wind to uh, put the difference here for the uh, Cats. I dare say, too, a couple of those tremendous kicks from. Nick Scott, too, into the wind. Both Absolutely. his goals have been a tremendous goals there for Broadbeach. Cass has injected himself for this centre bounce, mate, being picked up by McKenzie. We'll see if they can get a quick clearance here in Redlands. Umpire just wiping the mud off the footy. Still uh, man on man. No, the extra player has extra come back there. Emery behind the footy now. So Zufa loose for, for Redlands at the other end. Brewer. Reynolds. Give it to slightly to Brewer. Comes down to Salter. Can't get a kick. Numbers there. Salter wrapped up. We'll have a restart just off the side of the wicket area. Ten points of difference here in favour of Broadbeach. Need a clearance here, Redlands. 50 50 the contest. Brewer, cast, good smother. Panic heading in there. Panic forcing the ball forward by hand. Quick kick out from Redlands. Jones and Pringle. Pringle works the front. Pullman comes over. Good spoil from Templeton out wide. Shreve and the Ruckman. Shreve, very good. Handball out. McKenzie got it. McKenzie heads forward. An ordinary kick. Be forced out. No, he's done well there. Handball inside from Jack Williams. And Redlands going forward. The kick misses Cast. Thompson pick up the Cast. Breaks the tackle. Handball forward. Here's Pringle. Out very wide. Misses the target and uh, probably missed the scoring opportunity, I would have thought, Brownie. Yeah, I thought he had the opportunity to swing around on the left boot and get, more importantly, get the ball inside 50. He lets it go for the handball, but carried a long way, of course, with the breeze. Favoring the side of the ground, and Brewer knows what to do. Just thumps the ball away. The advantage of Pandic running onto it is Gary tried to break the tackle. Tackle by Howard. He got the kick away, though, in time. Quick came out. Ball only goes far. And there it is! Broad beach celebrate. Their first victory at home in 2013 at HA Oval with a 10 point victory, 13 8 86. Redlands 11 10 76. Jared, do you want to sing the song to you? Or? Well, no, no, we won't be uh, singing the song, Brownie, but I'm sure the Broadbeach players will when they get into the rooms. That was a uh, gutsy win, really. They were lost the third quarter again, which they've had a bit of a habit of doing this season, but uh, they've come back hard in the last quarter. and. Uh, Ground out a 10-point win, Brownie, and uh, good performance. Redlands will be probably pretty disappointed with that. They were uh, short price favourites, Redlands, going into this game, but they've, uh, they've been rolled down here, so uh, I'm sure the, uh, the Broad Beach hierarchy will be pretty happy to get their fourth win of the year. Well, full credit to the Cats as well. They kicked a total of nine goals into that uh, southern end, to the change room end, where people perhaps would have thought they would have been struggling to kick goals. No, it was uh, proved to be the scoring end down uh, there to the new change room, so... Uh, all credit to Broadbeach. Uh, best players, Brownie, I thought Shreve was terrific for Broadbeach, along with uh, 
both the talls, uh, Clark and Brewer in the ruck, uh, just, just dominated and uh, gave their smalls first use. Uh, and for Redlands, uh, Zufa was very good, playing, uh, playing in the back half, along with uh, Cass in the second half. Um, Gartner obviously kicked, uh, kicked four, Gartner. Uh, so he was the leading goal kicker there. Um, but uh, all in all, not a bad standard game considering how uh, how blustery it's been down here at HNA Oval. Well, more importantly, it keeps uh, Broadbeach in contention, of course, uh, at the top towards the top of the ladder. They now go to uh, four and six, and uh, Redland now four and five. And uh, just recapping the goal kickers for you, leading goal kicker for the Cats, Nathan Quick. Uh, two of those goals, opportunists. The leading goal kicker with three, two goals apiece to uh, Rory Walton, uh, Nick Burton, Nick Scott, and uh, singles then to uh, Ben Hancock, Kieran Emery, when he moved to full forward there in that final term, and also Josh Clark. And for the Bombers, four goals to Gardner, as you mentioned there, Jared, two goals apiece to Josh Pullman and Zane Pringle, and singles to Phil Cass, Blake Brewer, and also Tyler Jones. Great calling with you this afternoon, Jared on Nefa Live TV. Enjoyed it, Brownie. Great to uh, great to be on board. As uh, the Cats celebrate a home victory by 10 points, uh, Broadbeach 13-8-86, Redlands 11-10-76.